As of January 1st, Alabamians no longer have to get a permit to carry a concealed weapon. This new law triggering mixed emotions for many in North Alabama. Way 31's Matt Paskowitz spoke to both sides. What'd you learn, Matt? Hey Dan, while for some people I spoke to today, they say this new law could be a disaster waiting to happen. But on the other end of it, for those that are in support, they're happy this law is now in effect. An armed society is a polite society. As of January 1st, Alabama is no longer requiring permits to conceal carry. The state joins 24 others across the country. Harvest gun store owner Dewey Weaver is happy this legislation is now law. I like the fact that Alabama is a constitutional carry state now. I just hope that uh, we have a lot of other states that follow suit and does that. But for mother of two, Kimberly Ferguson, she's worried what this law might do. When you heard this law was being passed, what was your first reaction as a mother of a minor? Outrage that our lives can be in danger and the politicians simply don't care. She says she's disappointed that politicians are not focused about their citizens' well-being. Whether they want to believe it or not, we're all in danger with guns. As part of the new law, Aaliyah has created the Firearms Prohibited Person Database. It will help police determine if people should or should not own weapons. This database provides situational awareness relative to the individuals that law enforcement encounter uh, to protect both the citizens, visitors, and law enforcement as well. While Weaver says this news is good for him and his business. My customers have been looking forward to this for a long time. For Ferguson, she says she will continue to voice her worries with politicians. We should be able to tell them we're concerned. We need you to hear our concerns, their valid concerns. Don't ignore them and don't sweep them under the rug. And even though Weaver is in support of this new legislation, he says he still really does not want these guns getting into the hands of people who have underlying mental health issues. And for Ferguson, she's hoping for a town hall here in Huntsville within the next couple of weeks. So she says people like her could really voice their concerns about this new law. Live in Huntsville, I'm Matt Paskowitz, Wait 31 News.